Jackson. And I'm Joey. And today we're here to hit you with a quick sports update on some players who played on the Battle Creek Bruins state championship team. Some of these players included Jared Babcock, Tyler McKellar, Adam Ratliff, Zach Schaefer, and Andrew Irons. Congratulations to those players who won the state championship. Hi, I'm Amara. And I'm Jenny. And the theme for this month is music in our schools. So for the theme for this month, the reason we chose this is because I'm a choir kid. I've been in choir for four years and I wanted to try and incorporate something that I've done all throughout high school into the library theme for my senior year. We have an array of music books in the first three shelves of the library. Come down and check them out. So the game for this month is Spin the Wheel, and we have categories such as Guess the Song, Finish the Lyrics, and Guess the Artist. Um, each person gets three spins. Out of If you get two out of the three correct, then you get a piece of candy, and if you get three out of three correct, then you get your name put in a drawing for a prize at the end of the month. Come, Come down, down to, to the, the library, library and check out our theme for the month of March. Good morning, Harper Creek. It's time for your daily announcements. Dance guest forms for prom are available in the main office. These must be filled out for anyone attending who is not a student at Harper Creek. You must have approval before you purchase your prom tickets, which will be on sale after spring break. The Guitar Club, meeting originally planned for Wednesday, March 14th, has been moved to next week on Wednesday, March 21st after school. Attention students, jazz band tryouts will be March 20th and 22nd in the band room. Students that play non-traditional instruments are encouraged to try out as well. Applications are open for the 35th Battle Creek Takasaki Japan Sister City Exchange next summer. Check out the website for the applications and more information. Auditions for honors, treble, and jazz pop choirs are going to be held on Friday, March 16th. Auditions will take place in the high school choir room from 2.50 until the last person has auditioned. Singers need to come prepared to sing a short section of a piece you select. If you have questions or conflicts, please see Mr. Hansen in the choir room. Everyone is invited to audition and no experience is required. If you wish to sing but do not wish to audition, you may sign up for Varsity Choir and no audition is needed. Senior slideshow and senior baby pictures are due soon. You may bring them to Olivia Alexander, Mr. Rio, or send them to this email. Seniors, senior polls are in the office. Please fill them out by Friday, March 16th. Help spread the word to your senior friends. Don't forget to vote for the art prize entries in the main lobby. Spring break is just two weeks away. This is Liv. And this is Maddie. Have, Have a, a great, great Thursday. Thursday. Joey Tater and I'm the Vice President of Public Relations for our DECA chapter here at Harper Creek. This past weekend we competed at Detroit for our state competition. We had four state finalists in Nico Grillo, Zane Nguyen and Amara Place as well as Andrew Irons. It was a great experience, lots of fun, got to travel throughout Detroit and meet lots of new people. If you're interested you, can, you should come out for DECA next year, it's a great experience. Bro, Zach, you know what I just realized? Bro. And that it's St. Patrick's Day? Yeah, you just read my mind, but I'm not wearing any green, and my neighbor's ostrich is like 2% Irish. What am I gonna do? Bro, I, don't, I was thinking the same thing. Dude. Like, my neighbor's cat, right? His Australian you cat is actually about? Irish. I'm actually Irish. This is offensive. Bro, just shut up. What, what, what are you talking about, about bro? Hey, Brandon, what's up? Hey. Did you know it's St. Patrick's Day? Are you wearing any green? No, I totally forgot. Ha! <laughs> You're not wearing any green. <laughs> you know what? I thought St. Patrick's Day is just about wearing green leprechauns and eating corned beef. You know there's a lot more to St. Patrick's Day than just these silly pranks. Like what? Well, let's take a look. 
It's your lucky day. We're about to teach you about St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day is a religious holiday that falls during the Christian season of Lent. Irish families would traditionally attend church in the morning and celebrate in the afternoon. Lenten prohibitions against the consumption of meat were wavered and people would dance, drink, and feast on the traditional meal of Irish bacon and cabbage. The holiday is to celebrate St. Patrick who lived during the 5th century and is a patron saint and national apostle of Ireland. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated throughout the entire world. In Chicago, the river is dyed green in honor of St. Patrick's Day. There are a multitude of parades throughout the world. The first ever parade being for St. Patrick's Day was on March 17, 1762 in New York City. So, why is the color green so big on St. Patrick's Day? Well, originally Irish color was blue, but the Great Irish Rebellion of 1641, they tried to overthrow their king and they used green uniforms instead of the traditional blue. They also used a green flag instead of the blue flag, which had a harp symbol on both. But after the rebellion, the green didn't pop up until an effort in the 1790s to bring non-secretarian republic ideas to Ireland. The Society of United Irishmen wore green uniforms. Though the rest of the uniform eventually faded from popular wear, the importance of the green color spread. Thanks in part to the poems and ballads written during this time, most famously, the wearing of green. The more you know, the further you'll go. Well, I told you so. You're right. Hey there, guys and gidgets. Come on down to Waterdo Theater and catch Hairspray Junior this and next weekend. Since March is Music in the Schools Month, I figured I should talk about jazz a little bit. Some background on jazz is that it uses traditional music skills that you would learn in any band class, but it also incorporates a more creative improvisational element. And what that is is that you are creating something using a set of guidelines that is completely unique and all your own. It's what makes jazz so enjoyable to play. It you are creating your own voice in music. If you're interested in joining us and experiencing jazz for yourself, and you play non-traditional instruments, you're welcome to come too. Any piano players, guitar players, bass players, we'd love to have you out there. And any traditional band students, if you are interested in trying jazz, come speak to me, I'd love to talk. The jazz band has a few events coming up. They have their festival in Hastings and then they have a dinner dance that they're performing a couple hours of music these kids work real hard to do that and then at the end of the year um, in the end of May we have our big spring concert that we're all performing for and we hope to see you there